good, y'all. It's your boy Black G92. Now, before I get started on this reaction video, I have to say, rest in peace to Notorious B.I.G., the late great hip hop legend, Brooklyn's finest, everything in the name of, everything that pe people have said about dude that's positive and admirable, you name it. So, I've been 24 years since his untimely passing, only at 24 years old, and man, it's crazy. Like, how. Even only being in the game for a short amount of time, he's able to impact the game that much. People, <laughs> most a lot of people done like borrowed lyrics and the song concepts from like from from Biggie, and it still going goes on to this day. It's crazy me thinking about it, man. And the pay tribute to him probably later on. I might bump it, his first album, "Ready to Die Again," because it's, it's been some times I've heard the entire album back to front to back and side to side. And I know first time I heard the album was. At first, it was the 30 second samples, 30 second samples on MCM music, like back in 05. Then, of course, it was, it was like three three years later, I was like in 10th in grade and burned off a bear share and was playing the album like back to back, front front to back, side to side, like for three days straight because I was so amazed by his flow, lyricism, storytelling, and diverse, diversity of the songs in there. Like, it was just. And based on like his com coming of age story from Bro being a hustler in Brooklyn to the rap game, and it was just so intriguing. Just crazy went into the world. You just feel every, imagine everything, picture everything he says says in your head, man. Like a, a full audio movie, in a sense. That's how amazing it was. And I used to just memorize the song, "Give Me the Loop," like that. You know what I mean? That at that same age too, like fifteen, just like memorizing that whole song, "Give Me the Loop." I, I still I still remember the entire song in my head like to this day for real, and I actually like rehear not rehearsed more so like recited the song whatever and <laughs> some friends like years later when I was in college but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time and <laughs> and not to mention another thing I'm I'm gonna do like tomorrow like because I'm gonna do two reaction videos the first one is gonna be me watching in a rare ninety five interview of Biggie. Back in 05, not 05, but what the fuck, 95, like fresh off the Ready to Die album. I'm guessing going to Junior Mafia's debut album, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not just sure when the interview was shot, but I, I saw it said Rare 95 interview was supposed to be a studio session too. It's like, I'm, I'm very into watching like rappers and studio sessions and such. That's another thing, that's another unknown fact about your boy. I used to just watch. I used to love watching in studio sessions of rappers and such young and old, you know, because it brings them into like the whole work process of itself. When I saw that, like, I gotta check it out. This is also pay tribute to a legend, like a hip hop legend at that, for real. Music legend. <laughs> Scratch that. Not just hip hop, but music legend, period. So that's something I'm gonna do like for the first reaction video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Now, the re now the video I'm gonna react to is the music video for the song Black and White made by Mises. And speaking of Mises, I was on his live stream this past Sunday on Instagram. I thought it was going to be on YouTube, but I guess he still had technical problems, like, like you mentioned in the live stream. If you tuned in, because I've seen a couple of familiar faces in there. Like one of them is a subscriber to, the ch to my channel and another one. I just discovered him. Alpha Tyler, his little YouTube channel. I just discovered his channel. I watched a few of his reactions. They did for me, a couple he did for Mises and the ones he did for like Bryson Gray and Tyson James and the one he did for Adam Calhoun's Small Town. I definitely enjoy it. So be sure to follow Alpha Taylor's YouTube channel if you want some interesting reaction chat interesting reactions. But by the way, I'm going to see what the song looking like. Not not the song, but see what the visuals looking like and the song sound like in about three, two, one. I like this piano. Okay, black and white. Saint Mises. The beat for me. Wanna make sure that they hear me loud and clear if they ever wanna beef with me. Mm. Not a race, I hate equally. Mmm, let them know, man. Let them, hey, shit, that's how I be, man, shit. It don't matter what, what you look like, shit. If, if I hate you, I hate you, period. So I could definitely get behind this statement. Like, I could definitely get behind with that bar right there, man. <laughs> and it's also warranting. And also, like, how you just giving a warning to all those 
future rappers and such that want to like test them on the mic per se. Like basically, just let you know, like this, let you know that. It, let let let. We're just giving giving a warning. My face in black or white, it doesn't matter. I'ma break your teeth. Just like Jordan broke the internet when not a racist. And the song was great, but truthfully, what I'm amazed with is the racist in response to it. Black people saying the white dude snapped, but the black dude didn't in response to it. Mmm. Damn. Damn, very telling because and it's very truthful as well. Cause I, I also I've also seen quite a bit of those comments on the song I'm not racist by Jordan Lucas. How everyone just how mainly like folk the black folks are saying how like the white dude had the best version of black dude that come with it like he's supposed to whatever and like and there's those that were just crit- critiquing the song and there there were those that kind of get all right ra- kind of I got all racial about it you know just against white folks like this like let their whole like race their whole like racial attitude towards white people just show like with those comments as well like. Because there's a lot of those that came through with people just amongst the people I was just criticizing is though that crowd right there that had things against white folks coming in just saying they're two cents. So damn, already. Let me go. Let's play that back. I like he gave Black props to Jordan. White, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna break your teeth. teeth. It's like Jordan broke the internet with not a racist in the song. It's great, but truthfully, what I'm amazed with is the racist in response to it. Black people saying the white dude snap, but the black dude didn't in response to it. Listen, I'm gonna make this black and white. Get it black and white. Skip it. Let me get back to writing. And back, back to writing. I don't mean writing songs. I mean writing wrongs. That's the type of shit I'm on till my life is gone. I'm a rapper and an activist. Fuck it, I'm a raptivist. Trying to change the world, not just getting y'all to clap the shit. <laughs> That's pretty clever. He's like, I'm a rapper and an activist. Fucking, I'm a raptivist. <laughs> I just making shit just to clap the shit. Making none just to clap the shit. Hold up. Let's play that shit back. Back to writing, I do mean writing songs. I mean writing wrongs. That's the type of shit I'm on till my life is gone. I'm a rapper and an activist. Fuck it, I'm a raptivist. Trying to change the world, not just getting y'all to clap the shit. <laughs> Very clever, man. And also telling y'all that when you drop some, you're going to like want to think about it, hear about it, yeah, think about it, just play it back again and again in case you forget, for case you like didn't pick it up. So I love that. I react to this because that's been a deciding factor. If I did half of this shit, I have it because the truth is, I've been here for years. You just now see me. Oh, bitch. You can't think me because he now is Because I wish the motherfucker <laughs> would and you did. keyboard shit man because based because based on what's been going on especially with this political climate not just political but folks period they love just talking crazy behind them keyboards man especially them racist motherfuckers man like uh, all different shades man they love talking shit on behind these keyboards but they would never say that shit to your face if you notice that like sh- you only see that in the thread or like under someone's like facebook post whatever like or they'll sign it in a DM, like hiding behind like some name, or have some else hot, some else in front of their like profile picture. It's never like that energy, come trying to pull up or nothing. Like or bring that that type of energy like in your face. No, neither. Like they is MIA like in person. So shit. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna play it back. He doesn't say what he said, and and also he add further his criticism. How he said he grew up around D boys and OGs and such. I ain't know the type of area he grew up in, which is which was the nineties. 
because I did because I did do remember you mentioned he was I think he was born in the eight I think born in nineteen eighty or something and grew up in the nineties of course so that's that's a whole different era within itself so <laughs> world's different from what we used to. Next, Calhoun, Sterling G, A Wall, promise you test your ass real far. Mm. Oh, no, I ain't with that for Hold up, let me go ahead and play. play. He just name drop some names right there. Come say this shit to my face, bitch. I ain't good with them keyboards, but I'm good with these boys. Grew around them D boys, a motherfucking OG. These boys. Boy. Mm. Next, Calhoun, mm. Sterling G, A Wall, promise okay. you test your ass real far. Oh, no. chasing though because if anything psh, if anything nick was a cloud chaser because the motherfucker started with him and <laughs> made it about race and shit it just that and as you've seen on the guests and the home song like it got it got it touched like me in the way of how he just saying all this get because especially when like nick cannon started bringing up like how white folks are guests and hip-hop and all that shit like if anything, Nick Cannon was looking for clout like outside of Wild and Out. Instead of being okay, being cool with like with the TV show, he wanted to get back in the rap and look chase for clout and the stars to shit. You know what I mean? It dragged his crew down and made them look bad. <laughs> uh, you just had to be there, man. You just had to be. If you don't know, man, just watch my previous reactions on that on those terrible disc records, man, or. Watching the reactions from the other reaction channels that done covered it, man, because you just had to be there. You just had to be there. Now see, poof, bitch. You can't think Nick, cause he now a cheat. Cause I wish the motherfucker wouldn't you did. I don't start shit, all I start is movement. Like, hey, hey. Guess I gotta make this shit in black and white. Hey, hey. I don't give a shit about who black or white. Hey, hey. Racist trying to make it so we can unite. Mm. Talking fuck shit, motherfucker. We go have to fight like. Hey, hey. Guess I gotta make this shit in black and white. Hey, hey. I don't give a shit about who black or white. Hey, hey. Racist trying to make it so we can unite. Keep talking fuck shit, motherfucker. We go have to fight like. Hip hop's my DNA. Write a new song to a beat a day. Wrote this shit in my fucking head. Drop it to the lab, boy. Keep playing. Yeah, keep saying I ain't got bars when I chop bars. I went number one. Yeah, keep saying it's dumb down. Ain't my fault. Y'all fucking dumb. Mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's starting to speed up a little bit. I got, I got focus. I like hip hop's my DNA. Write a new song to a beat a day. Wrote this shit in my fucking head. Drop it to the lab, boy. Keep playing. Yeah, keep saying I ain't got bars when I chop bars. I went number one. Yeah, keep saying it's dumped down. Ain't my fault. Y'all fucking dumb, but I'm fucking done. Hold it back. I'm going back to the shit that I love to do. Fuck me, then fuck you. That's what this shit come to. Got guns, I got guns. There's no way to run to. And plus, I don't run to the whole different breed. Cause I live when I'm speaking. Even if it means that I could have been bleeding. Ain't leaving them seeing until I ain't breathing. So hate all you all on the skin. Ain't the reason. Mm. Mm. You heard that flow? How you switch it up from just how his regular shit to doing a tongue twisted, man? Damn, like he's mess. He Midwest for real, like cause that, cause them motherfuckers out of the Midwest can like do that tongue twisting, like to that, that do that tongue twisting, like it's nothing, man, for real, like. And Mises is up there, like especially if someone catching that his ability to do that within those last few bars, boy. And just letting it be known what, what who he is and everything and shit. This and also saying like, shit, you could judge you could judge me off my music, but you can't judge me off my how I look because that's that's just messed up. And, and he, he done proved it on that bar day. He delivered. <laughs> so the, whoever's willing to listen, they gonna definitely gonna like look at skills first. And well, of course, well they gonna look at skills, of course, aside from the looks. So, bam. You can't all think Nick, cause he now a genie Cause I wish the motherfucker wouldn't you did I don't start shit, all I start is movement like, hey, hey. Guess I gotta make this shit in black and white hey, hey. I don't give a shit about who black or white hey, hey. Racist trying to make it so we can unite Keep talking fuck shit, motherfucker, we gon' have to fight like hey, hey. Guess I gotta make this shit in black and white hey, hey.
That song. <laughs> oh man, that that very end of that song had me damn, bro. It had me super high. I'm taking off my rag and everything. <laughs> Whew, man. And now it's Mises Black and White. Man, another banger from a talented artist, man. Shit. This, in spite of how many years he's been on grind, like before his YouTube shit, before the guest song, like before everything else, like shh. <laughs> still got it. St still got. St you can definitely tell he so the pen that all that time spent on the grind was not wasted, and, and it shows. <laughs> and based on the recent songs, not only this song, but the freaking Gates of Hell track and the Damascus song, and also the Christ Twenty One Armageddon. You name it, man. Like, dude's dropping number fire. And I co-sign, and I co and that's facts on facts. I'm, matter of fact, I might just put the link to the original video, so then y'all can see, then y'all can watch on your own time. It's for real. But if you like this reaction video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to hear one of the when we, when we do more Mises songs, like reactions, that is, be sure to post them in the comment section below and, you know, do all the all the extras like I mentioned. And if you want to follow me on my social media or whatnot, they'll be all posted in the description box below as well. It's going to be a PayPal as well. So, well, it's, you know, it's not, not really a requirement, but it's, it's, it's optional. So it's there. That's the case. But yeah, so stay tuned for two more reaction videos. Like tomorrow, going to do that rare. I'm going to react to the rare 95 review of Notorious B.I.G. And later on, Up Church's song, Mud, Mud the Gold. It's dropped, I think it was like three or four days ago, if I'm not mistaken. Because I know his album may have, is about to, may have dropped either midnight today or midnight going to the next day. It was one of those two, like. I'm about to check the iTunes, <laughs> this would be sure, but I'm definitely going to react to that song, the Up Church, Mud, the Gold, like that, to, after I do the, the Taurus B.I.G. interview, so stay tuned for those, it's your boy Black G92, about to sign off, how is your boy, peace. Before I leave though, that beat was knocking, man, that beat was some serious, and the visuals were amazing. <laughs>